Hey guys, what's up, my name is Bumble and today I've got something awesome for you. In the last couple of days I've been playing around with a couple of ideas that came to my mind regarding enchanting. Since enchanting, before I found this, was my lowest leveled skill, I wanted to change that. And the only possible way was to spend millions upon millions of coins to achieve a higher level. With this said, welcome to the video that will change this forever. Before we get into the video, let me just really quickly say thank you for the unbelievable support of you guys. We reached the last like hole of 150 likes in less than a day and even doubled down on that by now. I would love to keep this energy flowing, so if you enjoy the video then please make sure to destroy the like button and subscribe to follow what's coming next. But for now, let's change everything. When I started thinking about enchanting, the obvious first thought was how do I gain XP and how do I gain XP the fastest way possible, since this is basically the only thing holding you back from enchanting books. Since I started thinking about this right after my last video about the new ultimate enchantments, my brain just immediately spit out an image on the new enchantment called No Pain No Gain. Quick spoiler, this is not the method, so make sure to stick around. In my last video I said it's kinda useless and it isn't actually worth to use for anything. Pretty much everyone seemed to agree with me on that part which made me think about it and not only that but I actually wanted to put up my words against the test. So one day later I had a full armor set of enchanted no pain no gain level 5 armor which cost me probably around 5 to 10 million coins since books were nowhere to be found and the XP cost to create and apply a level 5 book is just unbelievably high with a total cost of 1550 levels per armor piece. So here I was, a full set of no pain no gain level 5 armor but what now? And since I want to spare you the time of me talking about testing my ideas, here are the results. I tested almost every possible way of grinding XP with this armor using various minions, but it turned out there was a maximum amount of hits that can be triggered by this enchantment. So the reason it fails was not because the enchantment itself was bad, no, it actually right after I finished my armor set got a boost for now not giving 2 XP orbs, but rather 10 per incoming hit, but it was bad because it was held back by the service capability of detecting incoming hits. I tested his armor set for hours and hours and the highest result after all that money and time spent was 41,340 enchanting experience per hour. This however was when I realized that this idea was an absolute waste of time and I put on the brainstorming helmet for one last time to find out the ultimate way of leveling an enchanting skill. When I scrapped the idea of the no pain no gain book, the next thing that immediately came to mind was just simply farming ore. Just plain old Minecraft all over again. The only thing that isn't a thing in regular Minecraft is pets and gear with different abilities. I started out trying around with the Endermite pet as well as working with the stonk. The reason for the Endermite pet was the XP orb chance that it would add to the regular endstone and the stonk because of its ability as well as the newly added reforge called Magnetic. The Endermite pet got scrapped after just a couple of tests since it was performing even worse than the no pain no gain method. But the stonk with the new reforge got me thinking. Reforges are stats that change depending on the rarity of the item, this however means that a mythic item would have way better stats than a common one. With this said, I asked a friend, as a joke, to hit me up with a recombobulator to actually turn my stonk into a legendary pickaxe, therefore buffing the only changeable XP orb drop chance to the absolute max. And here is where I have to give all the credits to Sky, because this was the only reason I even started testing around with the pickaxe. He actually came through with it, and without any further story time, here is how you can gain up to 300,000 enchanting XP per hour without spending a single coin. Obviously I'm not talking about the requirements, but even they are way cheaper than the only other way which would be buying ground experience bottles. Also quick hint, the legendary stonk is not a requirement. The requirements are fairly simple and here they are. Armor wise you will have to get your hands on a set that you most likely already forgot about, the lapis armor set. Even though the armor set probably isn't the best thing to use anywhere except here, this is the heart of the strategy. Next up you will have to get your hands on a stonk and get the experience enchantment on it as well as a lapis crystal reforged stone to apply the required magnetic reforge. This obviously also works with a regular pickaxe which would also drop the diamonds if you decide to go for that ore, but the stonk with its high rarity makes the reforge on it even better. After this, you're basically set to start grinding XP, but here are some valuable tips to pushing this method to the absolute limit. First up, I would recommend to use enchanting XP boost potions as well as experience potions on the highest level possible. Another idea, if you decide to go with the stonk, is to use haste, making even the breaking part a bit faster. 
Other than that, I would recommend getting the highest level guardian pet that you can find as well as obviously get the highest possible experience enchantment on your pickaxe, which as of recording this is level 4, where I'm pretty sure that the price tag of 400,000 coins makes up for the 12.5% increase for double XP orb drops. And lastly, to push this method to the absolute brim of its capability, you can recombobulate your stonk to become a legendary pickaxe and get the magnetic reforge to the highest level possible. Quick side note, it does change the XP gain, but only in a very minimal way. Obviously, if you want to reach the limits of this, this is how you do so and it would be a serious flex, but I would not recommend this for people who are struggling with money in the first place, since it's actually not needed to use this method. So after all that, here is my setup. I played around a lot and also tested it with a water stream. It obviously is possible to use one, but I tested it for hours and found out that simply mining the ore whilst running around actually feels the best. So let me explain. Gaining XP is done exactly as you would think. Break the diamond ore, since it drops the most experience orbs, and level yourself up to a certain level to then enchant the book. But the most important part, except for the gear, is the level you try to achieve before actually enchanting. I know that enchanting a book gives more XP the more levels you spend on it, and by using Grand Experience Bottles, this level would be very high depending on your enchantment level, since it depends on what one bottle actually gives you after splashing. Since we don't splash a bottle though, and actually have to work for the XP, reaching a high level every time you want to enchant the book would be rather stupid, since it would take way too long. I, like I already said a couple of times, tested this method for hours upon hours and came to the conclusion that the level we want to achieve to get the absolute best value out of our time is level 20. So to sum it all up in the best way possible, you would want to build a farm that looks like this to have the easiest way accessing your enchantment tables and grinding the XP you need to do so. After that, you will have to get as much of the gear that is shown on screen right now as possible to then go ahead and start enchanting your books at level 20 every time you're able to do so. Which, by testing this, turned out to be, at least in my situation, after breaking 5 to a maximum of 8 blocks. And here are my results. I made a series of tests which revealed that this method is capable of producing more than 280,000 enchanting XP per hour without spending a single coin. And to just put that number into perspective, to go from level 0 to level 25 would be possible in less than 12 hours. And to hit the highest level possible, being level 50, you would only need 200 hours of grinding this absolutely free method. And since this is basically everything already, I would love to get a like if this helped you out and I would highly appreciate a sub if you're interested in what's coming next. Thank you very much for watching though and have an awesome day.